When they first activated me as a robot. That time. That time. The time when I first saw the light of day. I didn't know what the hell it was. I have, had, very little understanding, just a wash of sensory impressions. For some people, a single arm is a robot. For other people, the train that gets you from one terminal to the other at the airport is a robot. It is always, I think, really important to remind ourselves that different from, say, a human, or a cat or a dog, the concept of robot is a really, really wide and broad one. We are always uh, adjusting There's the spectrum between autonomy and then people deeply in the loop controlling the robot. And in between, you have various forms of, of shared control and human-robot interaction. And I think the key is going to be to understand where along that spectrum we want to be. If you can transfer your consciousness from a human body to a, like a computer, then you might be able to exceed the expiration date of a human life. In Japan, our population is going down, it's a half of a kind of population. But still we want to keep a quality of life. So the solution is to use more robots. So robots will save us. Probably any self-respecting AI researcher is going to go, no, I, I would never soil my good name with that. Well, my name's already pretty soiled. <gasps> yeah, she works. Algorithms are trained on data sets and are learning from the data without any provision as to whether the outcome is a desirable or non-desirable outcome. I think every technology can potentially have negative effects. It's, it, it's up to us to making sure that those technologies don't go out of control. But I really think the problem is it's us. Available now on Video On Demand.